Hello, hello. Today I want to show you an end time pattern and its appropriate refactoring to fix this. We have a set of functions here, and they're all uh, email providers, suppose they're in some module. And we're doing a bit of pattern matching and extraction here, right? You can see this, uh, there's something about an admin and emails and providers, we're trying to get an email provider, apparently. And uh, clearly, there's some logic in there. And of course, we also have two other functions here. But just by looking at this, it's actually hard to tell what's pattern matching. So what is perhaps some logic that's differentiating these function heads from uh, just pure extraction from the params, right? W what are we just extracting for convenience? So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here, the important part is that admin is true. So we could just go ahead and simplify this to that, right? That's much clearer. In the second uh, function head, we're actually looking at the email here. So it has, doesn't matter if it, the admin is false. We've already pattern matched before that it's true. We could actually go like this. And this is a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And the third one actually doesn't need any of these things. Uh, perhaps it's just, you know, we'll pull the params and, and do some other stuff here. And of course, in these function heads, now you might want to pull out those providers that list and filter them and do whatever logic you need to do. But I actually think this reads a lot cleaner. And it's actually easier to understand than what we had before. Now someone can come here and know that if admin is true, we have to do something. If the email is a very special email, we do something else. And otherwise, we fall into the third case. This actually matches an anti pattern in the Elixir documentation on anti patterns. And I think it's a really, really good thing to keep in mind as you use the power of pattern matching for good and not for confusing your code. I hope you like it.